I'm going to go over a very simple program that uh, writes to the uh, to the console the sum and average of a series of numbers that have been input by the user. So the first thing we need to do is declare some variables. And so we're going to say, I'm going to use the sum, because we're going to be using that for the summation of numbers. So let me type a little bit, and then I'll explain what's going on. OK, so these are going to be our variables. The sum, which is going to keep track of the, uh, the, the sum of the numbers that have entered. The count, which is going to keep, tr keep track of how many numbers have been entered. And then, of course, the average for the uh, average of those numbers. So since we need to, the user needs to be able to enter uh, information continuously until they uh, enter nothing, we're going to need a while loop to do that. Now, there are many ways to write the while loop that we could use, but probably the simplest one is to just write it in uh, this format. When we uh, write while true, we are basically creating an infinite loop which is okay because uh, we, we don't know how many entries the user is going to enter, so we do want it to loop infinitely until the user enters nothing, when they just hit the enter key without an actual number being entered. All right, so the next thing we need is we need to know what number they've entered. So in, inside the loop, we're going to assign a new variable called number, and that's going to be the input. And of course, input meaning uh, that we're going to enter a number. So here we're going to have to say uh, enter a number or press enter to exit. Okay. The um, next thing that we're going to want to do, because this isn't complete, is we need to be able to take, uh, um, well, I better finish this part here. And so we, we have the number, and this line of code is, saying, is, is going to the console, it's saying, and it's prompting the user to enter a number. So the user will enter a number, which will then be assigned to the variable num, or they'll, enter, uh, they'll hit nothing, they'll just hit the enter key, and that will uh, create the exit. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little statement in here, just a little simple if statement. Now you could write this as an if-else statement, but the simplest way is just to say, um, let's do this as a, as a, as just an if statement. And if the, they've entered number, nothing, so basically the uh, user has, has hit the enter key, um, and recall that in Python, the input is always entered as a string. So even if you hit the enter key, you're still going to get a string that's been entered, but that string is going to be blank or empty. So num is going to be assigned to nothing, to, a, to an empty string. So if it's an empty string, then what we want to do is we want to break the, the loop. So the, uh, the keyword here, the reserved keyword is break. Break means it's going to break from the while loop. Okay, now remember that everything that we're doing at this point has to be in scope with the while loop. And for it to be in scope, it has to be indented. So here's your while loop, and then indented right up to here for it to be in scope with the while loop. All right, so assuming they entered something in here, this if statement's not going to happen. So the if statement's going to check the number. There's something that's been entered, so it's not going to break. It's going to go to the next item. And the next item is going to be, we need to now uh, keep track of the sum of what was entered. And we're going to use this right here. All right, so what this line of code is doing is this is saying, okay, the sum which started at zero is going to be equal to uh, the sum, so itself, which was zero, plus whatever was entered into the number cast as a float. In that manner, we can handle decimals in case they enter a decimal number. And that's, that's all that's happening. I'm going to go ahead and put a little comment here. Let's remember that, that the plus equal sign is the same as saying this.
Okay? It's just the shorthand version. All right. And then count. We have to increment our count. So we, we need to keep track. In order to calculate average, we need to keep track of how many numbers were entered. So that's just going to be uh, this. And I'll go ahead and I'll put a little comment here so that you remember what the shorthand is. I'm sorry. It's just not going to there we go. And this is going to be the same as count equal count plus one. All right. So next, well, we need the, the average, right? So here we're going to say, okay, average is equal to. Now, um, one thing that I will say about the average is that the average does not need to be in scope because the average is calculated after all the data has been entered. So we can take that out of scope. So we're it's going to be out of scope of the, uh, of the while loop. All right. So the average is equal to the sum divided by the count. Excellent. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to say, okay, now we need the information. We're going to say, okay, now let's print this thing. So we're going to print, and here um, you could just say the sum, and then and then output, of course, the sum. I would actually put, yeah, that'll work. And uh, we're going to say, all right, so now here we've printed out the string, which is the sum to the console. And then we're going, to print, we're going to print out the actual value that was calculated from the sum. So we're, we want to know what the sum is, because that's part of the assignment right here. All right, so the next thing we want to know is we want to know what the average was. So that's this, pretty much the same thing. We can just, and I like to do, you know, do all sorts of little cheat things. I'll just say copy and paste, and then just change this stuff to average and over here. We, do, we have the average. All right. So this is the simplest way that I can think of to do this assignment. Um, it's very, very simple and it should work. So if I hit F5 to run this, it should, there we go. Um, I can run this now and it's going to prompt me for a number. So let's just enter one. And then now I'm going to hit the Enter key, and I'm not going to enter anything. I'm just going to hit the Enter key again. And we come up with the sum is 15, which is correct, and the average is 3, which is correct. 15 divided by the five entries is 3. So this works fine. Now, you, you could, uh, this, this basically completes the assignment right here. This is done. Um, very, very simple. Remember, again, that all the information here is in scope with the while loop. And the way that we break from the infinite uh, loop, this, which is set to true, which just means infinite, is right here, this line of code right here. Because as soon as they hit the enter key and this and uh, the string is empty, because they didn't hit it, they didn't enter anything, it's going to break from the while loop. Now the sum has to be in scope with the while loop because it's adding the numbers that have been entered over and over again through each iteration. And the count has to be in scope because it's adding it's, it's keeping track of how many numbers have been entered, the, the two uh, numbers that we need to track, the sum and the count. Okay, once that's done, though, the average does not need to be in scope because the average is only calculated after everything's been entered. So the average is out of scope of the while loop, and then it simply does the final math. Take the sum, divide it by the count, we have the average, which is output here. And then, of course, the sum is simply uh, the sum that was that would be final sum of, uh, of the numbers that were entered. And that's it. Um, you can do a little bit more with this. Uh, we, we could have entered this in an if-else statement, which I, um, is easy to do. Probably the only other check that you should that we should do, um, but I didn't do, and I'll go ahead and enter it, is we should check to see if the count is zero. So if, if they enter, if nothing's entered, because if uh, if the count is zero, then we'll have a, a mathematical error because we can't divide by zero, right? And so we should check to make sure the count is greater than zero before we calculate the average. So I mean, just this little line of code is really the only uh, thing that should be entered in case nothing's entered. 
but uh, it's unnecessary for our purposes. Anyways, that's it. Uh, nice and simple. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions.